Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks and welcome to a new breaking Lego news video. So typically on Mondays, I usually post Bionicle fan and reviews. If you're a Bionicle fan, then you're probably used to seeing every Monday a brand new Lego Bionicle fan created model review. But today, I figured it's important enough to do something different, and I specifically did not post one of the fan and reviews today, so Bionicle fans are alerted to this very important news item. Now today is Monday, June 28, and that means that the pre-orders for LEGO Bionicles 2021 set will open in just a couple of days on July 1st. Now this is really important because it's basically our first Bionicle set since 2016, and that's a pretty big deal. So to kind of go into the backstory behind this, essentially a couple of years ago, LEGO released a BrickLink A-Fold Designer program. And the goal of this program was to allow fan models to actually be made into official LEGO sets. Of course, they had to be created from a specific subset of available modern pieces and all, but essentially they were kind of like a LEGO Ideas type project, except for the fact that they actually just went through BrickLink instead. Now fans actually got a lot more choice and design variability when making their designs. They really weren't confirmed or constricted to a LEGO designer actually adapting their designs. It was really all about fans themselves creating their own things. In fact, one of my favorite builds from that entire program was the Lowenstein Castle, which I've got right here. So right here you can see this is the fan created Lowenstein Castle from 2019's AFOL designer program. It's really probably one of the best designed LEGO castles I almost want to say ever as an official set, especially because despite being an official set, this has been basically purely designed by an adult fan of LEGO, with limited restrictions from LEGO themselves on how to make the thing. So as you can see, it's packed with a ton of detail and has a lot of really great things. But you might be wondering, what exactly does this have to do with Bionicle? Well. LEGO recently announced that there will be a new version of this program coming out this year for the BrickLink AFOL Designer program, but instead of having AFOLs actually design stuff for this program, they're actually pulling from previously accepted LEGO Ideas projects that were eventually rejected when it came to the review phase. So what exactly does this mean? Well, it means that if a LEGO Ideas project reached 10k votes, but unfortunately made it to the review phase and was not accepted, then they essentially have a second chance of being LEGO sets throughout this phase. So one of these sets, of course, is Sakoda's LEGO Bionicle System Ideas Project, which personally I'm super excited to get my hands on, because again, it's really the first time we're getting an official Bionicle set from LEGO for many, many years. So here's how this will all work. At the time of this recording, we unfortunately do not have any details regarding price or really what time it will be available. I'm certainly going to be refreshing my browser on July 1st, and I would recommend you do the same. And of course, I will be putting out a video as soon as it becomes available as well, but given that it takes a couple of hours to make and upload a video, at least that type, I probably would recommend checking it yourself as well, because I won't be publishing that video until all the details have been released, so I can explain everything there. And that's what this video is for, to remind you to continually refresh the BrickLink page to see just when this set will become available. But let's dive a little bit deeper into exactly how this works and why it's so important that you buy this immediately. Well, first of all, the easy reason and explanation is that this is going to be, I bet, a very, very popular set, and it's probably going to sell out really fast. In 2019, for example, the Lowenstein Castle sold out within a few hours of coming online, and I can easily see a very similar thing happening to this Bionicle set as well. But there's also a bit of a catch behind this particular set, which makes it even more important to get earlier. And that is, of course, because it isn't actually 100% guaranteed to be a set. For all intents and purposes, it is, but essentially what happens is that you're drawing from a pool of several approved LEGO Ideas sets, and then they're only going to pick a few sets out of that pool, based on which ones sell out the fastest. So if you make this set sell out the fastest, then it will be guaranteed to actually be made and shipped as a set. It's a bit of a catch, but honestly, if you look at what it's up against, I feel like there's almost zero chance that it doesn't make it, but still, definitely don't get complacent, and I would still recommend immediately placing your order. Let's dive a little bit deeper into what exactly it's up against, and why I think it deserves a pretty good chance throughout this buying round. So here's the deal. This whole thing is broken up into three main rounds. For round one, 
there are eight projects up for production, and out of these eight, only five of them will be produced. These first five will basically be the first that are successfully crowdfunded, aka the first to sell out. So here's what Bionicle is up against. First of all, we have the Castle in the Forest, which is another one I'm incredibly excited for, another day one pre-order for me, and something that I'm highly expecting will probably sell out very quickly as well. Whether or not it'll beat Bionicle to selling out, I can imagine them being pretty closely matched, because it is an excellent love letter to classic LEGO Castle, basically a revamp of one of the classic LEGO Forest Men sets, and it's a really fantastically done model with a full interior as well. So I'm also rooting for this model, I can see it doing pretty well compared to Bionicle. And then we have a next model, the Great Fishing Boat. It's been a while since LEGO's done a realistic boat, and I don't really think they've ever done an excellently scaled realistic boat that's a fishing boat like this. The closest thing we got was the shrimp boat of Hidden Side, which was a good set, but of course pretty simple. I can also see this one doing pretty well as a result, probably not as well as Bionicle or Castle, but still pretty well because it is quite a well detailed model and tackling a subject matter that's quite unique for LEGO and something they don't do that often. Certainly I'll be pre-ordering this one as well because, of course, I really do want this large-scale fishing boat, and it's probably the most realistic boat we'll ever get from LEGO directly. Next up here we have The Pursuit of Flight. It's a kinetic sculpture paying homage to the history and wonder of flight featuring several different styles of aircraft which coincidentally are actually callbacks to older LEGO sets. You can see 2012 Sopwith Camel up there, as well as the Red Baron from 2003, the Wright Flyer, and even Amelia Earhart's Flyer, which was a current GWP from just this past year. It's a pretty cool and fun kinetic sculpture, turning a crank in the back causes the planes to tilt back and forth, and I can also see this doing reasonably well, albeit being probably not as popular as the first three mentioned. And then we have a few wild cards. First of all, we have the Observatory Mountain View. It's a pretty decent build in my opinion, but it is fairly simplistic. It was an older LEGO idea, so I'm not quite sure if they'll be actually updating it even further beyond this design for the review. I would hope so because while it is a decent build, I think it could be a little bit better or even more refined, so we'll see how well that one does. We also have the Share of Safe with a working combination lock, which I was honestly kind of surprised to see here because it literally has a brick built gun and alcohol bottle, but who knows, I guess that since it's the Wild West type theme, it's generally okay for LEGO. And even beyond that, we have a build for an endangered bird, the Kakapo, which is very, very cute, but also pretty reminiscent of one of the older LEGO Ideas bird sets. Finally, we have the Particle Accelerator, which actually fully works, it's fully functioning, which I think is pretty cool, but it's also just not as visually interesting of a build as, say, some of these other models, because it's mostly just built around the function of accelerating a LEGO ball piece around the track. So out of these eight, again, only five of them will be produced. My money certainly on the castle in the forest definitely getting produced. I'd be shocked if that one didn't make it to the top five on this list. And I'd also be pretty surprised if Bionicle didn't make it either, but definitely don't get complacent, still go and buy it immediately. If anything, it's probably just going to sell out really fast, so I'd recommend buying it really quickly. But those are really the only two ones that I can probably confirm. If I had to pick the rest of the top five or the remaining three, I'd say the Great Fishing Boat has a pretty decent chance, as well as the Pursuit of Flight, but in terms of the final four sets, I really don't know. Maybe it could be the Observatory Mountain View, because it's a bigger model, and it's also a subject matter that LEGO hasn't really done before. Or perhaps it'll be the Sheriff Safe, because again, that's also a pretty unique subject matter that we'll probably never get as a LEGO set again. The Kakapo might make it through, but again, it's kind of reminiscent to some of the older LEGO Ideas bird sets, which I don't actually think sold too too well. And the Particle Accelerator is really just hinging on people being interested in the function itself, which I think is a fun feature, I just don't know if that'll be enough to get people to buy it. Alright, but now that that's all summed up and all the details have been explained, it's time to address just one final point which I just figure is worth addressing before we close up this video. Now, when I've put out videos on this topic in the past, a lot of comments have been directed towards the build being a system-based build. Of course, that's just these standard LEGO bricks and pieces that you can see here, and it's not a construction or construction plus action build like the Bionicle figures of old. So I understand that if you're a Bionicle fan, you might just be a Bionicle fan just for the figures themselves. And maybe this diorama holds no interest to you. 
And that's perfectly fine. Of course, to each their own, and if you're a Bionicle fan, I can totally see why maybe you wouldn't be interested in this build. Because of course, it doesn't actually have anything to do with the building system Bionicle introduced. Be it G1 or CCBS and G2, there's really nothing related to construction at all in this build. It's honestly just focused on the story of Bionicle, and doesn't really call back to the construction sets all too much, because of course, it couldn't. All of the construction molds are destroyed, CCBS or other ones. But I will have to say this, if you are a fan of Bionicle, in any sense, either you just like the story, just like building the figures, or just like the toys themselves and don't even care about the story at all, if you want to see Bionicle make a return, this is probably our most viable option to actually get Bionicle back on the market, either as a full-on construction toy or something else. You see, LEGO seems to be very hesitant to put out anything related to Bionicle, particularly after the failure of Generation 2. And while of course that failure can be chalked up to a lot of different factors, most of which were not the fans' fault, it was a lot of stuff that LEGO did wrong in G2, they're understandably pretty worried about putting Bionicle back on the market, especially after it really didn't do all so well in 2015 and 2016. And so, showing LEGO that people are actually willing to not only go out and buy a Bionicle set in 2021, but they're willing to support Bionicle to the extent that as a system set, just encapsulating the story of Bionicle and having nothing to do with the original construction figures, if you're still willing to purchase that, that really shows the Lego that Bionicle as a brand is still viable in 2021. So even if you have literally zero interest in system builds, you only care about construction, I'd at least recommend checking it out and maybe just trying to see if there's some enjoyment you can get out of just a Bionicle set in 2021. I understand, of course, if it's not your cup of tea, that's all good. But it is really the best way to show to LEGO that people are actually still interested in Bionicle today. And it's a viable IP that could be brought back in the future. So if you want to see the construction sets be brought back at some point, I would highly recommend Please go support this model, go buy it, go pre-order it, make it the most popular model from this review phase, and if we can do that, that's a strong message to LEGO that we really want Bionicle back in any way, shape, or form. Sure, you can answer surveys on LEGO Ideas votes, you can campaign for LEGO to bring it back, but unless you vote with your wallet, LEGO probably isn't willing to actually consider bringing it back. And I can imagine that they specifically chose this project for inclusion in the AFOL Designer program to see just how well a modern Bionicle set would perform. And this is our chance to show them. We still want Bionicle, so go out there on July 1st, buy this set. I'm going to be buying two myself if they even allow it. We have no idea what the restrictions are on purchase limits or whatnot at all, but if they'll let me buy two, I'm buying two. And stay tuned to Duck Bricks for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses come your way very soon. Stay tuned especially on July 1st when I will be publishing the video with all of the details exactly when this becomes available so everyone will know exactly how to purchase the set and what to do. Thank you so much for tuning into Duck Bricks. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more coming your way very soon. Thank you and bye bye for now.